Hi guys, my name is Prince Sethi and today we are going to learn uh, how to find out last row or last column in a given data uh, through VBA. There are a couple of ways uh, through which we can find out the last row or last column. So let's see what are those, what are those ways. So straightforward, I am going to VBA editor, inserting a module called IM and creating a sub processor by the name of uh, like find last name whatever you want to give it okay so for that I do have special cells uh, like if you press F5 go to specials so if you see last cell is there so if you click over there so straightforward it will reach to the last row and the last column till our data is been using fine the same concept we mentioned over here so for that we do have called uh, code called special cells cells dot special cells in special cells what I have to find I means there are a couple of things like to find like all the cells get highlighted where we do have conditional formatting we where we do have validations we do have blanks comments constant constant formula last row and so on so but as of now we are looking for last cell so just click on to last cells dot I don't want to activate I don't want my cell should be go over there I just want the row number so just type rows so whatever the values comes from this statement so it needs to be put in a variable like uh, I'm going over there I'm putting the same values in x x is a variable like dim x as integer so whatever fine so now x will store the last row of my respective data the same way the same the same thing you can do it this way also like I can find columns as well uh, the same value needs to put uh, like in another variable like I have taken y over there so now what needs to be done just to check out the value of x and the value of y so like I'm um, mentioning the same thing on message box message box uh, my last row is and x x contains my uh, last row and after that we want a bit space my last column is and the value of y same way fine if you want you can just delimit uh, in a different line as well like for that you can mention vb crlf so i'll just show you first of all just check how it's been working and what are the result it's been showing over here oh i'm sorry so i need to take another variable so why is there so if you show see my last row is 83 whereas my last column is 15, uh, 13 okay so i want this should be delimited from here so you can take one more things like an x and b b c r l f okay it's already there okay so x and after that again vbcrlf and that's it let's see see my last row 83 and my last column is 13 or whatever can make this spell black or if you want to make it two lines blank a space you can up to you same way fine so we do have another processor uh, in this case in this case there might be some problem while using special cells so every time like uh, we have deleted some rows or columns so the summary of last cell or the value of last cell or last uh, row or last column remain in buffer so we need to reset its buffer like if i'll just 
delete few rows and okay so my last row as of now it's 71 and uh, let's suppose I'm deleting one two columns as well so my last column would be 9 but if you just run this particular code again it will show you the weird result I mean the incorrect result the result which were which were we use which we have used earlier like I'm just uh, running this code see it's still showing my last row is 83 and my last column is 13 whereas my last row as of now it's 71 and uh, my last column is 9th fine so in that case oh sorry uh, my last column would be 11th so in that case you need to reset it so how we can do that uh, I'm just showing it to you you can use one more statement over here like active sheet dot used range so it will reset whatever the uh, initial value is there so let's again check so it's showing correct result as of now so uh, I'll recommend to you uh, special cells is a very good thing uh, to use to find last row last column but uh, prior to that it should be good if you used active sheet dot use range so use range what it will do it will again uh, analyze uh, checks the data and according to that it will throw the throw you the correct row or correct, correct column so there are uh, other ways also to find last row last column so let's see so I'm doing it by another ways so as of now I'm using uh, another way like uh, as of now I do have 71 rows but I know that it can't be beyond 65536 so this will be my last row and if I reach uh, onto this position and after that I'll just press control and up key so it straight forward comes to the last row so where it would be that will be my last row the same concept I can just apply over there like uh, active sheet or I'm just mentioning range so sorry. range a65536 I know that it can't be beyond this value dot and and I want Excel up Excel up mean to say I'm pressing control and up key and I want the row number of, of that particular cell so like I'm um, putting this value into again XX again XX is my integer variable dim XX is integer <coughs> and I'm showing this value on message box So the message box xx so let's see the same way you can do it for the column as well so let's see msg b e o x msg uh, okay msg box okay see 71 perfect same way you can find out the column as well like uh, uh, i would be on uh, I11 okay so I would be there so I want XLF so like uh, I do have the data over here so what I'll do to find out last column the same way I'm just typing like that will be YY so range IV1 would be my last row dot and then excel to left and i want the column number so same way message box x whatever you want to give it and y. 
so you see so last row would be 66 a last column would be 99 see 66 and 99 so this is a way to find out basically we do have uh, another f uh, way also to which you can find last row last column so I can do this thing for row okay so through find command through find we can also find the last cell or last row fine so like I'm finding dot star so like I'm on uh, a1 cell let's suppose so I'm finding star star mean to say any value it could be anything okay and go I'm going to find it so uh, sorry I'm closing this thing for a while I'm pressing star so like I would be on a one position so straightforward it will look for the next available value like this way fine but what if just because it's checking for the next available value but if I want I have to find the previous value mean to say if I am um, over here so I would say to him look for the previous value so so the prior value would be this one fine so whatever the value would be that will be my last row so how it can be possible uh, like uh, I'm asking cells dot find find okay what what should be it could be anything then it's asking after after mean to say mean to say like from where to start like I'm saying start it from a1 okay then look in look in mean to say whether to look in formula or values so no matter it is so like I'm looking I'm typing look in Excel formula fine so look in Excel formulas okay spelling should be there and after that look at if you see look in and after that look at look at these are the same things like if you show over there like within search look in formula find what the same same concepts are mentioning over there so look at would be excel part okay so next thing would be a uh, search direction s e a r c h oh sorry search order s e a r c h o r d e r search order would be like by rows or by column so I can mention Excel by rows fine so next concept the very important concept search direction so search direction mean to say next value find or previous like over here it's mentioned by default next but I want it should be previous so S E A R C H search D I R E C T I O N search direction should be previous that's it I don't think so the, any other things would be required like we do have match cases as well so but it's up to you so like I want their respective row numbers so I think it has to be work so whatever the values come it again needs to be put in triple okay but putting it into like PPP so I'm taking uh, dim triple p s integer and I'm showing the same value on message box message box ppp okay so let's see so my last row would be 66 
perfect so through this way you can find out so i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching so